is STEM week in Massachusetts and across the state. New climate tech companies are hiring. As WBZ's Jacob Wyckoff shows us, this week proves that STEM education can change more than lives. It can change our energy future. In Wilmington, innovation is heating up. This startup is rethinking one of the most ordinary appliances in your home. So this is the guts of a heat pump water heater. Cala Systems built smart predictive water heaters that know when to store heat and when to wait. One of the really cool things we're able to do is learn a home's hot water usage patterns over time. So instead of wasting energy, the system works with the grid, forecasting demand and adjusting in real time, or as Cala calls it, applied math in motion. Well, our algorithms uh, take in uh, this information as well as electricity prices, home solar um, production, uh, to determine when it is most efficient to heat the water. Cala Systems was born out of an idea to make home heating cleaner and smarter. Starting with water. Water heaters are a battery for heat and they're in everyone's home. And that's incredibly powerful if we get it right. The company launched here in Wilmington for a reason. Here in Massachusetts, we have the ecosystem for, to support a company like this. We have the talent base. You know, we've, we've got amazing engineers. This is the best place to do energy and climate related hardware in the US. And it's just the start. What's happening in this lab is part of something much bigger. It's a statewide effort to connect innovators, manufacturers, and investors. It's called the Climate Tech Corridor. Climate innovation in Massachusetts stretches far beyond Boston, reaching from the Berkshires to the Cape. Each region brings something different to the table. Massachusetts does tough things. <laughs> We've always done tough things. Leslie Nash is a senior director with the Clean Energy Center a small quasi-state agency with a big mission. Our job is to accelerate the clean energy and climate economy here for economic growth. New companies, new workers, and new opportunities statewide. Greater Boston is a powerhouse of academic institutions and research, but then Central and Western Mass is really the epicenter of manufacturing capacity for the state. And then along our coastlines, we have access to really well-known marine industries and offshore wind industries. Together, those strengths form the backbone of the state's climate tech corridor and the blueprint for its next decade of growth. We hope to have at least 1,300 new companies supported. So that's what we're looking to achieve. Massachusetts is proving that tackling climate change isn't just good for the planet, it's good for business. In Wilmington, Jacob Wyckoff, WBC News.